Hi there, uh, it's Joe here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do uh, side chain compression. Um, this is my way of doing it. Um, I learned this off someone else who, you know, does a lot of house songs and he says it's the best way of doing it. So you know, I think it's quite good as well. Um, yeah, so basically, so far I've got a kick loop and a bass loop that I put together and basically this is without sidechain compression I'm gonna let you listen to it without sidechain compression so you know that um, it's vital to have it in a house dance electro trance song whatever um, yeah let's have a listen so as you can hear the bass is drowning out the kick a bit and the kick isn't defined very much um, so yeah we need to do something about that and that is side chain compression and yeah let's get started <clears throat> now you want to open up your mixer track you want to align all your instruments like your kick, bass, strings, whatever um, to their own individual mixer track and then you want to go to a new insert and you want to make one for your side chain call this ghost kick you'll know why in a minute <laughs> and basically we now need to create a kick for that ghost kick so we go to new pattern and then we choose any old kick that we need that we want um, and you do that pattern so one in each bar at the start <coughs> and yeah and then you align this kick to your ghost kick track there we go. Now, to make this a ghost kick, we, we want to unalign it to the, um, from the mixer output. You do this by still staying on the track, the ghost kick track, but going to the master and just pressing that. And now we're unaligned from the master output with that track, so the kick will still um, affect the song but you won't be able to hear it and that's why people call it a ghost kick um, <coughs> yeah there you go uh, that's the explanation for that <laughs> and now for the kick to affect the bass we want to stay on the ghost kick track and we want to go to the bass right click press that right click and go to side chain to this track now we want to open up a limiter on the bass <coughs> limiter, I want to go to the compressor which is built into the limiter drag up there to 1, drag down the threshold here <coughs> to about there I want to push up the ratio to about there press off that and now if we go to the pattern and we make um, the ghost kick pattern come onto our timeline there as well as the kick that we've got there as well at the top um, so we've got kick, bass, ghost kick at the bottom now if you're here now you listen to this you'll notice a significant difference and it sounds pretty cool <clears throat> Yeah, so that's the power of side chain, chain compression and yeah there you go uh, it's not that hard it's pretty straightforward um, you can do it with any other instrument like uh, strings uh, anything you want to do and yeah so enjoy making house music um, dance trance whatever you like to do whatever floats your boat um, please subscribe if, I, if you think if you think that I've helped you and like my Facebook uh, which is facebook.com forward slash Aperio music yep yeah, so yeah just enjoy making music cheers for watching God bless <laughs>